Raiders, it's Molly, and I feel like I have not vlogged in such a long time. But I am back in Lubbock. I did Red Raider camp, it was a blast, had so much fun, and now I am getting ready for school to start. So, you dear, Mackie and I have decided to give out some top tips from college students on how to stay organized, especially during your first semester. have a planner this is my planner from last year it's got a bunch of dogs on it and basically every week that Sunday I would go in and write everything down I had for the week due date when I had class when there was a basketball game a football game or anything personal like I have vlog 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 here but literally I wrote everything down it's all color-coded and then I would put little boxes so I could cross it out because the satisfaction of crossing something out once you get it done is awesome especially during a busy week or a busy day so yes y'all i highly suggest getting a planner because they are the best things ever throw it in your backpack you can make it all cute and decorate it or you can just keep it simple but have a planner it helps you stay organized my next tip would be to have a to-do list for each day you can write it on a sticky note do it on your phone um i usually type it out on my phone and then i'll check off each thing in the notes app just because it helps me feel better knowing oh i have all the stuff to do but if i focus on one thing i can cross it out and then move on to the next thing you don't have to do it in any particular order but i love having those to-do lists it helps me stay organized and makes me feel like i'm getting stuff done especially during a very busy day. My next tip would be keep your study space organized and clean because if you're sitting there taking lecture notes and then you see like a little mess on the corner, you know you're gonna wanna go clean the mess because you don't want to actually do your lecture notes. So just keep it clean and organized. Those are my top three tips when it comes to being organized. Now let's go hear what Udir has gotta say. Hey guys, it's Udir and one of my first tips would be to definitely make a Google Calendar. Uh, if you don't really like making physical calendars like on a whiteboard or on a journal, this is your way to go. They're completely free and they're super easy to make. Last spring, I made a Google Calendar for the whole semester and I put all my classes in there, all my assignments in there, and any deadlines like any payments I had to make or anything else that I had. Right now, I've got my first two weeks ready for the fall semester. I've got my classes and I've also got some events that I'm going to attend for Red Raider Welcome. So I think this is a great way to get yourself organized. That way your time is organized and you know when you can take breaks or when you're busy. Another tip that I recommend that's also super simple would be to organize the contacts on your phone by using emojis. For example, in my chemistry class, what I did was I added a little chemistry flask right next to everyone. And for all the vloggers, I have a little camera. That way I can tell apart which person is in which organization or in which class. It makes it super easy if you wanna find someone specifically to DM them, you just put the emoji in and you can find them instantly. All right, my final tip would be to organize your emails. This one sounds kind of boring and it's kind of cause it is, but it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. If you're someone that has a lot of links, for example, you have homeworks in this class that are in Blackboard, but you have a Zoom class in Zoom, duh. Uh, or maybe you have another homework that's in Cengage. It's really helpful to have all your links in one place where you can just click it and it automatically takes you there. You don't wanna be struggling, searching through your email, trying to find a link if you have class in like five minutes. So it's definitely something that's small that you could do in a matter of seconds, but it would save you so much hassle in the long run. Hey y'all, it's Mackie, and I'm here with a few tips and tricks on how to stay organized during the school year. And honestly, for me, I am so ready for the school year to start because it is way easier for me to be organized once I have my schedule and work and everything just has its place in the summer i get all over the place so honestly for me the school year is way easier to keep everything in line first and foremost color code every single class you're taking um so an example of this for me is going to be on my calendar so i don't know if you can see yeah so you can see like the color code so like this color is my asl class this is my comms class whatever so i color code all my classes um, and then I'll put them, so like if I have a test or something, I just put it in that color. That way I kind of see what it's like every week for that color. But then I also like color code 
vlogging, I color code work, I color code the organization I'm in. Um, and it makes it just a lot easier. Um, so if you're doing a hard calendar or if it's on your phone, um, just color coding things just makes life easier. Don't ask me why, but it does, uh, just, just easier. Second thing is going to be, you have to download the app called Flora. This thing has changed my life. Um, it is amazing, it's free and you are planting little trees. And so it's pretty much an app to help you study and focus. So if you're anything like me and you're studying and you don't want to, it is so easy to grab your phone and go scroll on Instagram or TikTok or whatever um, and get really distracted. So this app keeps your phone where you can't look at your apps. And if you do, then it tells you that you killed your little tree and then it puts it on your story thing, like on the app. So anyone can see that you killed this little tree and it reminds you that you killed the tree and you feel super bad. Um, but then you also have like to-do lists and habit trackers on there. So if there's things that you need to be doing like one hour every day, you can put that or whatever. And then you keep track of that. And so it's just a nice place and a nice way to have all your stuff in one place to keep you focused. And if you want, you can even put money on your thing. So like if you're like, okay, I have to study for 25 minutes and if I don't, if I kill my little tree, that's gonna cost me $5. And as a college student, you really don't have extra money to be spending. So it keeps you accountable. Um, but then let's say you do kill that little tree and you pay that $5, it goes to plant a real tree. So you're at least doing some good for the environment. So it makes you feel a little less bad about it. <laughs> Now, my last tip on staying organized is definitely my most important one. Um, and you're gonna be like, how does that have anything to do with being organized? But just stay with me. And that's gonna be take care of yourself and take time for yourself. As somebody who's involved in a lot of things and I'm busy all the time, it's really easy for me to go, 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 to do all my classes, do all my organization, do all my homework, do my work work, um, applying for grad school. It's super easy for me to just like, do one thing after the other, after the other, after the other without ever taking a break. Um, and I found that when I'm doing that and I don't actually set, a set aside time for myself, it doesn't matter how organized I am, I get stressed out. Um, and I get worried and then things start falling off the bat or I'm not reading as much as I should, you know, like everything just suffers because of it. Um, but I found that when I actually set aside time for myself and I say, you know what, I'm gonna give myself two hours tonight where I'm allowed to take a bath and watch a movie um, and I get to go to bed early. Or, you know what, I'm not doing any homework on Saturday. Uh, Saturday I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm doing game night, I'm doing whatever, um, and I'm not gonna touch my, touch my schoolwork. Which you're like, sounds counterproductive, but really it's a game changer. Um, so learn how to set aside time for yourself because the more stressed you are, the less organized you're gonna be and the more messy your schedule's gonna get. So find time every week, whatever way it looks like for you, to just set aside time to help yourself out. And trust me, it'll work out for the better. Okay, so that was all of our tips. We hope you enjoyed and that we were able to help you out just a little bit on how to stay more organized and how we've stayed organized throughout college. We hope you have a great rest of your week and as always, wreck'em. Bye y'all.